So Winston and I had moved to Nashville. We had been in our house for maybe like four months. And we got part of a small group at church and it's all these new people. And it was right around Christmas time. And everyone's like, oh, you know, we should do a small group Christmas party. And I was like, I, we can host, we can host. Okay, I'm like 22 years old, right? Like we just got out of college, just starting jobs. Like just, we don't even have furniture in our house, people. Okay, this is like where we're at in life. But I was like, no, we can throw a great party. This is great. So then I leave the small group after we've decided we're gonna throw the party. And I just kind of go in the spiral. And I remember thinking, oh gosh, everyone's gonna come to our house and what are they gonna expect? It has to be really nice and really great. So I went to Pottery Barn and I spent who knows how much on placemats and cloth napkins and even the napkin rings, like all this stuff. You guys, we did not have the money for me to go to Pottery Barn and spend on like placemats, okay? It was not a wise decision, but I was doing it because I really was like, oh my gosh, these people have to think that I'm great, really. And then I asked my sweet mother of a great recipe because I wanted to cook a homemade meal. Why, I don't know, bad motivation. Remember, bad motivation. And my mom was like, oh, this is the easiest chicken recipe ever. And it was some chicken recipe, but you gotta like fry it on the stove and then you put it and bake it and then you do all this other stuff while it's baking and it's supposed to be the most easiest, best chicken recipe ever. Well, it was like five minutes before people were coming. I had like watery spinach in the crock pot, some crock pot recipe I tried to make and my chicken was like, it looked disgusting. And so I made Winston taste it and he was like, babe, I don't even think it's done. And it wasn't, it was like still raw in the middle. Within five minutes, it was, people were coming at 6.30. It was like 6.23. And I was, I mean, I was breaking down. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. So Winston had to go to Publix, true story, and buy rotisserie chickens because we, and that's all we ate was just chicken. Like we didn't even have sides, we had nothing. It was a disaster. It really was. And I looked back and I was like, that was so silly of me. But that was, I mean, I was in this cycle of wanting to impress everyone. I really was. And then I contrast that with just two weeks ago, I had eight girlfriends over. We made pasta and a salad set and drank wine. There were, I don't even know if there were placemats. Actually, I think there were placemats that I had gotten from the first part I ever threw. But there were paper napkins and we all just sat around and talked and it was so fun. I mean, there was nothing, there was no flowers. There was nothing exciting about it, but I just wanted to throw a girl's night out. And we had such a good time. And it's just that reminder, you guys, that you can have a great experience inviting people over hosting, whether it's a shower or it's just a girl's night out, whatever it is, and the people that are coming are there for you. And that's their expectation. So do not feel like you have to spend a crazy amount of money because even if you did and everything went right and the chicken like actually was made correctly in the first party, I still, the night still would have gone through and I would have been like, eh, I guess it was okay because my motivation was so off. So. Have the great motivation and don't feel like you have to spend a ton of money.